Alright, so on the China 6040 CNC, I'll show you my configuration. I have swapped the X and the Y cables to make the table uh, lengthwise or the, the widest, my X, and the widthwise or the narrowest, the Y. It normally comes the other way around. Y is the longest and X is the narrowest. If you've worked the bridge port before, you know that that doesn't make any sense. So first we'll go to ports and pins. Here's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I tried doing four, five, two, three, and it just didn't seem to work out right. So this is the factory settings for this machine, but I changed this direction here to make it work properly. All right, input signals are all the same, 12, 13, 15, probe, there's my probe set up, and the e-stop. These will change with the new Gecko controller, but these are the settings that I've been running with successfully on this machine. Okay, so now let's go to motor tuning. So on our X, we have 320 steps, velocity 1500, acceleration 400, step pulse 5, direction pulse 5. Y is the same thing, 320, 1500, 400, 5 and 5. Z, steps per is 400.809, velocity is 1500, acceleration is 400, 5 and 5. I think I changed the velocity on this from the original setup. And the A is just what the book said, I've not used the A axis on this machine yet, it's 10 steps, velocity 2500.2. Acceleration 400, step pulse 5, direction pulse 5. Have no clue if it works, I've never plugged it in. And the spindle, that's just what it came with. Steps for 1, velocity 120, acceleration 4, I don't think it matters because it's just a PWM signal. And that's pretty much it. That's the uh, setup. I do have the Auto Tool Zero. So if I go to I'm working behind the camera so I'm trying to look here um, where's it at Edit button script here. Hit that button. And this is the code from Auto Zero. So what this does, this sets my probe height right here, 0.762. That's how thick my probe is. And this is the code that I use that I got off of the internet somewhere to do my auto probe. Okay, don't save. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so we're going to do a, an engraving of my logo into this scrap piece for, just for a test. And this is before we change the steppers out. So I've got Mach 3 loaded up. So now I've got to do the Auto Tool Zero. Okay, so we're going to click on Auto Tool Zero. Okay, so now we can move the touch probe out of the way. And we're going to hit cycle start. There's the tool change. And go.
And there we have it. Oh, a little focus issue. There we go. Alright, we're going to check the rapids on this machine before we do the upgrade. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to start it off at the 10 inch mark. I'm going to run the machine for 10 seconds and find out where it stops. Take that number, multiply it by 6, that will give you minutes, that will give you inches per minute. So, so that I can be timed with the stopwatch. I'm going to start the machine when it gets to 10 seconds. So I'm going to hit start. When it gets to 10 seconds, I'm going to hit the right arrow key. Wait 10 seconds and let off the arrow key. Okay, so we'll hit start. So we're waiting on the 10 second mark. Nine, go. Eight, nine, stop. All right. So we are at 19 and 3 eighths. And we take the 10 away and that's 9 and 3 eighths. So let's go to our calculator. 9.375 times 6. So the machine will do 56.2 inches per minute. Okay, so if you're interested in the motor tuning, I'll show you that next. Okay, so we're back here. Here's our 10 inch mark. So we're going to run our stopwatch reset. So we're going to run this. I can't do 10 seconds because it runs out of travel. So we'll do 5 seconds. How about that? So we hit start, we'll wait, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. All right, that went to 23, let me hit go to zero, uh, go to Z. <clears throat> so that was 13 inches that it actually ran. So, to 23, 13 inches. So, if you did that at 10 seconds, that's 13 inches for 5 seconds. Times 2 is 10 seconds. You take that times 6, which would be per minute. So, we're doing 156 inches per minute now. So, that's uh, triple the speed. By going from 1500 to what do we end up with 4000 so anyway that's about the max on this machine I would hate to be in a big job in a motor stall so I might not run it on the ragged edge but that's the ragged edge for this machine 4000 on the inches per minute all right so Let's take a look at motor tuning on this machine. I've never really tuned on the motors very much. I just ran it just the way it was out of the box. But you'll notice that the Z-axis motor is different from the others. So that comes as the Y, but this is my X now. And then the Y is back here. Can't see it, but it's the same as this motor here. So we're doing 55 inches a minute, and it's very predictable, no issues. Well, what would happen if we start tweaking? Since we're going to replace all the steppers and the couplers and make this a totally different machine. Let's see what we can get out of this thing. So let me sit you up on top of the machine here on the tripod. We're going to go to motor tuning. And I've already been in here and played around and I kind of know how far we can go with it. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to run, let's see, let's try 5,000. It's not going to like that number, it's going to drop it down. 4687. Let's just save that. Then Y 5000. Enter. Save that. And Z. Now, this is the smaller motor. So we're going to dial in 3500. And we're going to save that. We're going to hit OK. So let me back you out here on the tripod and get you turned to where you can see. So let me show you what happens here. So at the 4900 Here's our new X. Extremely quick. And this is our Y. If you were to be homing with this, you would definitely want to set up some soft limits. Okay, now here is what happens when it stalls. See that? Did you see that? Let me get you in here. You can watch this motor. Down? It's not a problem. That's a stall. So, without moving the camera, I'm going to go over here, motor tuning, go to Z, and I'm going to change this to 3350. 3350. All right. Hit OK. Down and up. Still got a stall. Come over here to config, motor tuning, Z axis, 3300. Save axis. OK. Now. Still got a stall. Alright. Motor tuning. Z axis. 3250. Okay. Okay, we can run with that. So right now, on the motor tuning, let me put you back up here. Oh, get to back you out. So from here, we have 4687 on X and Y, and Z we have 3250. So let's run a program with those settings. And we'll see what happens here. So I need to... I'm not going to put it in low speed jog mode. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. <clears throat> I have not run this thing this fast. All right, the program that I've got, I want to get this thing probably about three quarters of an inch. We'll say an inch away from this clamp. We are about five eighths to three quarter. We'll do five eighths there. Eh, tell you what. There we go. One inch away. Okay, we'll put our probe down. Let's load a program. We're going to load the logo program. 
load G code, logo, open. Okay, now I'm going to zero X, Y, go ahead and zero it all. Auto tool zero. Okay, and go. We're commanding at 39 inches a minute cutting. Alright, so it went okay. So now what I want to do, is that cut fine? Let's do a feed override. So we'll go to, go to Z. Let me bring it up a little bit, just to make sure. And after it starts, I'm going to override the feed and speed it up. Cycle start and go. Okay. Now that's fifty six sixty three. This is seventy eight inches a minute. All right. So that was successful to run 78 inches a minute.